This is a quick overview of the marking criteria for the first assessment task. The criteria has been weighted and one of the things about the weightings is that the earlier parts of the paper have a lighter weighting to them but they also have a significant consequence. So the problem to solution portion of the marking criteria is designed to assess how well you go from presenting a social issue to presenting a social marketing solution to that issue. It's worth 20% of the overall paper. To max out that 20%, you want to be using support from theory and practice. In the case of presenting a social marketing problem, theory will be a question of evidence. It would be a question of bringing in some form of demonstrable support that says the problem I'm trying to address is a recognizable or recognized problem and that that problem can be addressed through a social marketing framework. The solution, again to max out, is talked about in terms of using marketing language, outlined in marketing language. This is about understanding that you are offering a marketing way of seeing steps towards solving this overall social problem. Your solution does not need to solve the problem outright. It simply needs to progress an audience from where they are to closer towards having solved that problem. Third component part is the strategic theory. And this is the element that will guide subsequent choice. When you put forward this problem, the social problem, part of what you'll be doing is explaining if the problem already exists, if it's a new problem, or it's a problem that's been encountered previously. If it's a new problem, will you need to present a new solution to it? If it's a new problem, can you adapt an existing solution from somewhere else? If it's a current problem, does an existing solution solve that, in which case we need to encourage greater uptake of the existing solution? Or is it an existing problem for which a new solution will move people, move the audience further towards solving that problem? Your selection of your strategic theory here is important. The strategy you pick will guide the next set of decisions that you will report in your paper. So not only do you need to name your theory, you need to justify your theory, you need to integrate that theory into the solution and the problem. Give it context. Stepwise, the biggest difference between taking home a pass and taking home the ultra high distinction comes from the application of the ideas. When I talk about applying theory and practice, what I'm talking about is the use of existing ideas, the adaptation of commercial marketing theory, and bringing that into the context of your social problem. The second component is the solution to market section. And again, the way the criteria are set is that these are not subheadings. These are sequences within the overall paper. So you can't throw these three subheadings in and hope. You have to address the paper as it is, knowing that you are going to be judged across performance. Now, solution to markets, the top of the pack is a case of understanding and applying one of the definitions of marketing, and that is an adaptation and an adoption process. How will you outline an offer that would produce that social marketing solution? So you said there's a problem, you said marketing can provide a solution. You've out, now you are outlining how 
one of the two definitions will enable you to deliver that solution. And then you're going to start engaging the idea of the market segments. So presenting me with an offer then is the case of presenting me with the potential audiences who would be very interested in adopting this offer. You do need to have a range of market segments and those segments need to be viable. You cannot have a preferred market segment and two non-viable, non-connected market segments and hope to do well. You need to have demonstrated to me that in the process of preparing this document, you considered alternatives and then you selected from that set of alternatives. The third phase and the bulk of the points, 50% of the points, come from the market selection section. And this section is dependent on the decisions that you make in the first two criteria. If you do not take the first two sequences to their full advantage, you will not be able to produce a single, specific, narrowly defined, focused and responsive target market. You have to have a strategic plan. You have to have a strategic way of seeing the world. You have to have a strategy to increase the uptake, whether it's an idea, whether it's an attitude, it's a behavior, it's a service, it's a physical good. Either it exists or it doesn't. Either the market you're addressing, you've addressed before, or you haven't. You put those combinations together and that provides a set of decisions that lead you to the markets. And you then roll into this market selection element where you pick one of your markets. And in that market, you apply consumer behavior theory. You know who the market is. So you've selected this market out of your possible market segments. And now you're looking at what is this, what's the consumer behavior theory that best supports what you're trying to achieve in this market. If you want to increase a behavior and it's a new approach, that evokes a specific set of consumer behavior theories. Think like a commercial market. Think, how could I maximize the number of people who wanted my product within this target segment? What theories, what ideas, what approaches would I need to take? Justify what you're doing with this market with the available theory that describes how consumers will respond to an offer. If you are doing a business to business social marketing solution, substitute the word consumer behavior for business to business. You wanna know how business would approach this. And it's gonna be the same process. You want to give me a narrow market that's clearly defined and because you're clearly defining it, it will have characteristics and traits that you can use to pick off your CB theory to apply and to give you a framework that will make life so much easier for the second paper. And this is about, this is the big investment time. This is where you make the hard decisions. You will personally experience cognitive dissonance from making these decisions. You will also have this whole sense of the opportunity cost. That when you focus on the one single specified market, you will have that moment of going, but I'm leaving these other options behind. And that will trigger cognitive dissonance and that will have that moment of you going, what's my opportunity cost of not addressing those other markets? This is something that you will experience as a social marketer. So in a safe practice environment, I'm getting you to experience it in the essay. Now the overall general advice, the key things to understand is that 
This is an assignment about decisions having consequences. You have to act on the decision. If you select a strategy, you are guided by that strategy. If you don't select a strategy, you have a very bad day and a poor score. But when you pick your strategy, that strategy must then inform the next decision that you make. When you pick your market segment, that decision must inform the next decision that you make. Every choice focuses your paper, focuses the lens in which you are looking at trying to solve this problem, and makes your job easier. As soon as you have a focus, as soon as you know the type of audience you're addressing, you can eliminate the other options that won't work for you and just focus on the ones that will. So, in the sequence you have decisions and those decisions have consequences and those decisions also come with a certain set of notes. And the whole way through this, the aim of this criteria is to give common structure for me so that I mark each paper with its wide range of audience choices, social problems and social solutions. I have a common framework. I have a common understanding of what I'm looking for. But also it's here for you to be able to say, what do I want to achieve? What do I need to do to sit inside the grade band that I personally want to pursue? If you want to go for the top of the pack, there it is. It's about the references, it's about the theory, because the references show the influence of others on you, shows your acknowledgement of their work, and shows that you have done your homework, read around, and that you're adapting the world's knowledge that's available, and there's a lot of it available now. You're adapting commercial marketing, you're adapting social marketing, you're borrowing from whatever is going to get the job done, and you're using it to solve a problem. And you're recognizing that you're using it and whose influences are underpinning your decisions. And that's the top of the pack. Making the decisions, knowing who's your influence, acknowledging that influence, and having enough resources to be able to solve whatever problem is sitting in front of you in this essay with your own take on it and the support from the outside. And that's what you're looking for on this. It is, I remind you once again, a challenging assessment task because not only does it require you to be biased, to make a selection, to eliminate other possibilities and alternatives, but it will force you through that thought process of, I have multiple viable options, I can only activate one of them. I only have the resources to deal with one of them. And that is something that you deal with day in, day out. That is part of social marketing. We target, we focus, and we exclude others in the pursuit of our targeted, focused market segments. And that is both a strength of what we do and a limit of social marketing.